G'day. In today's video, I'm opening up this Lenovo Legion T5. This one has the model number 28IMB05. And what I want to open it up for is to upgrade the RAM on it and add and then replace a one terabyte NVMe drive. While we're in here, we'll cover the extra things that we need to do on here. First of all, to, to begin with, you will find these screws right here, located at the back, here, undo that, undo both, and then from there we should just be able to pull on the back here, like so. You'll see the gap that's been now produced, and if we lift that up from here, we can remove that, and we have removed the side panel. With the side panel removed, I will try and readjust my camera so you guys can kind of see a bit more of the case. Here we go. What we got going on here is we have one graphics card. This one's an RTX 2070. Um, RAM wise, we've got two RAM slots filled down here. With this particular one has two 8 3200 MHz sticks. And this bit here also comes out. If I fold this or pull this up from the bottom, like so. Just better pull this away. I will apologize for the camera setup. I'm purely working on my usual workbench. The camera is normally fine for most devices, except computer cases. So I will try and cover most things here. Looking in here, power supply wise, if I tilt the machine up, we still can't see it. So what I'm going to do is take the camera off the stand. There we go. What we got down here is a 650 watt power supply. This should be, it's handling the 2070 just fine. We do have a single eight pin by the looks of it. I'm assuming there's going to be another one further down. Uh, not that I'm seeing actually. So we only have a single 8 pin here. That is a bit underwhelming. I don't know, tell a lot. Right here, we have another 8 pin. At 650 watts, we should be able to handle most graphics cards. Let's say you want to upgrade to like a 4060. 4070 might be cutting it fine at 650 watts. I haven't done too much research on them. But most graphics cards that are under, or mid range graphics cards, should function in here. And potentially have enough space. If you were to replace your graphics card, you will have to take out this screw here, disconnect here, pull this tab just on the top, that should pull back. And we'll also have this screw in here. With that screw undone, we have no screws down here holding it, so this single screw and bracket looks to be holding it, that will come out. If you do replace the graphics card, what I'd recommend doing, since this bracket here probably won't fit in there with the new graphics card, is you'd need to use a screw in here to hold the graphics card in position. I wouldn't trust a graphics card in here being held purely by here, this single screw and bracket, especially if your card's a, a, tri, a dual or tri-fan graphics card, the weight of it's just gonna pull down and you'll eventually damage something. Next up, if we have a look down here, there's a little bit right here. That is a spot for an NVMe SSD. And what I've got floating around to put in there is one of these. Just a very budget graphics, uh, graphics card. Very budget SSD. I'll take that out. I can see a single screw down here, which that I'll need to take out. So if I put the screwdriver in here, there's going to be a bit hard while holding the camera. There we go. Crack the screw. Come on. There we go. Push it off my finger. Yeah, that's out. In here. Go, okay, put that aside. Next up, I want to grab the NVMe drive. And I want to slide this in on a 45 degree or 25 degree angle or so. Similar angle to about here, in, down. You'll notice there's a notch there on the right on the NVMe. So push that in. Like so. 
push it forward so that the gold disappears. You fold that down, you should be right to screw that in. Now if we do add this, we will have to reinstall it using either do a fresh install or you can go into disk management in Windows and tell it to then format the drive. By default it won't show up. What I'm going to do here is install it and then I'm going to use a Cronus True image to clone off the original NVMe SSD, which is down the bottom just there. A little bit harder to get at, so I won't be, I'll be leaving that one there, but you do have two slots in here. We do also have a Wi-Fi card down the bottom here. It may be replaceable. Sometimes I do lock down the BIOS to work with particular Wi-Fi cards. Now looking up here, looks like we're using a standard pin configuration. So looking at here, we have 24 pin, we have an 8 pin. So what that means is we should almost be able to reuse this particular case in another, oh, motherboard into a new case. You will lose the back shield here. Well, actually, you might have to trim that up. That looks like that may come out, the, the I.O. shield here. But if you can live without that, you should definitely be able to swap it over. Looking down here, that looks to be the front panel header connection here. Well, that's what I'm going to assume that that is. We do have a couple of SATA cables down there. We do have an extra slot here for a SATA drive. There is a little dock down there, so it should just be able to push into here. Go grab this. Just squeezing it together at the top. Put the drive in there, slide it in. And you can see the hard drive connectors just down there. The one on the left is power, one on the right is data. Do have a single fan at the front with room for another fan up here. Did find that this was relatively dust free, which was good. Mixed up the RAM down here. Should be a little notch we can push down like that. One up here to push like that. That should open it up. And with that opened up, what I want to do is add some RAM to it. I'm just going to be using some Kingston Fury. So this one here is just some 8 gig 3200 megahertz, fairly similar. Should hopefully run just fine. And what I want to do is there's a small notch just here. I want to make that notch align with what's already there and then if they that both those notches pushed out here or the both the tabs pulled out I should just be able to wiggle it slightly and then I should be able to push it down push it down should make two clicks to let me know that it's plugged in I'll grab the other stick and do the same with it and I didn't move that one there I just pushed it out slightly using the RAM stick. Wouldn't recommend doing that, just being one-handed at this point in time makes it a little bit more tricky. Push down, click, click. There we go. So that's now got 32 gig of RAM in there in total. Just pushing on the other ones to make sure I didn't remove them before. Do have this decent aftermarket cooler here. Wouldn't bother replacing it. That should function perfectly fine so cooling was definitely a priority on this Le Lenovo Legion and that's more than enough. So just to reiterate power supply 650 watt should be okay for most things up to something like a 3070 or a 4070. Uh, 4070 may be kind of fine but it's a 4060 or a 3060 that'll be just fine. If it's a Radeon probably an RX 60 or 7700 XT should be okay. Down here, we can have, add another 3.5 inch hard drive. We can add an NVMe. We can change the Wi-Fi card. We can change the graphics card. We have to remove this bracket. We can add a fan. We can swap the board into a new case. We will probably lose the IO shield. No, it's not worthwhile changing over the cooler that's on here, as it is already more than adequate. Do have one fan at the back. And that covers basically most questions. This one here is a Lenovo Legion. And I've added some more RAM. I've added an NVMe drive. Yeah, I'm gonna clone it over. Hope that helps clear up some questions regarding the Lenovo Legion T5 28IM B05. I'm gonna put the side panel back on in just a second. Well actually, as I do that, do note that there's these little arms here. 
and here. That's for this to slot into, like that. If them slot it in, should just be able to drop it down, push down, we're in place. With that in place, we should be right to put the side panel back on and put the two screws back in here and here. And that will do. I'll see you later. Bye.